Welcome to Tech Results with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about the between operator. Between filters a record set for data matching the values in an inclusive range. So you can provide the range and then it will give you the required data after filtering that. Between can operate on any numeric date, time, and time span expressions. So let's go ahead and take a look and do some experiment and learn the between operator in Kusto. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create this table and this has customer ID, that's a long type. Then first name string, last name string and the salary is integer type and then we have a higher date, date time. So we are creating this table and inserting some sample data. Let's go ahead and ingest some data. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go ahead and write our table name and uh, try to see the data so here uh, we have uh, data and uh, think about that if I would like to select some data where my salary between thousand and four thousand then uh, what I should do so what you are gonna do here you're gonna say uh, pipe sign where then uh, you'll provide the column name and in this case uh, my salary and then we will say between and then uh, in the parentheses uh, let's put the number between 1000 and then uh, put uh, two dots there and then uh, the range uh, the last uh, number you would like to see so I am saying that hey give me the values uh, where uh, my number starting from a uh, uh, thousand and ending with four thousand uh, let's ex execute that uh, now you see that uh, this is giving us an uh, error so it, it should it shouldn't be really given us error here because I'm not seeing any error or any any type of uh, kind of um, uh, mismatch or you know uh, even even you removed it here it did not give you like hey in the argument uh, you can uh, let's say if I will provide one comma two it gives me like hey comma is not accepted so anyways uh, if for the range uh, if this looks good but it's not working you know? so what we need to do in this type of uh, issues uh, what uh, we have to do uh, with the between uh, you have to convert the data to the specific uh, data type so see here uh, I'm saying customer where my salary between uh, and then uh, I have used integer int for thousand here and then I have also changed this number to the data type integer by doing that it's uh, working perfectly fine uh, now let's go ahead and execute and you can see that it is returning us all the records uh, where our salary between thousand and four thousand is uh, now I use another uh, um, line here where I use the pipe sign and I said project. So I'm selecting a few of the column that I would like to see. So if we can uh, go ahead and run the entire thing, it's gonna give us uh, the output. Um, if you wanna remove some higher date or something like that, you can also remove uh, in the projectors to get the specific uh, records. Uh, now, we could have used uh, two integer as well, instead of just int, that uh, function is going to also convert our number to the integer. Uh, so this is how it is. So you're going to select your table name, you are going to have pipe sign, where and column name, use the between keyword and parentheses started and parentheses ended here and uh, between uh, here you are going to put the values. Uh, so I'm saying two integer thousand and here two where end is uh, two four thousand and then you have two dots in middle. Let's go ahead and execute this. This should be returning the same result what we see in the last uh, query. The between also work on the date ranges. So in this case, let's say if we would like to get all the record from customer where higher date between. So I put a two date time. So I'm converting the, uh, this value to the date time. And then I have uh, these uh, two uh, period signs uh, here or dot dot and then uh, end date. So I'm saying two date and uh, I provide the end date here. And then I'm uh, selecting a few of the column that I would like to display. So that's going to work as well. So you can see right there, it's returning us all the record where the date range between this date and the end date is on the right side. Okay, so what we can do. Uh, so now if you are interested, uh, so you see all the records from customer where you want to provide some starting date, but uh, you don't have end date like hard coded value. You can always use a now function uh, that will be today's date. So that's possible. So you will say customer pipe sign where higher date between your starting date and we have converted this to the to date uh, data type and then dot dot and now function and then we have a close parenthesis here here is a list of the column we would like to display so let's go ahead and execute and in this case it's going to return us uh, pretty much all the records uh, uh, we have uh, from uh, you know from 2010 january and uh, all that okay now if you are not interested you want to see 
all the records which does not belong to this range that's possible as well so simply what you have to do before the between you have to use this explanation mark here so that's the mark or a keyword you will use before the between keyword and that will convert to the not between so we if we are interested to get all the customer where date range does not exist between these two ranges here so we would like to see that so let's go ahead and execute uh, and now what we are going to see here see 2005 and uh, 2010 month of uh, uh, right there you know so uh, and, uh, this is September and then uh, you have a uh, 2021 and uh, then uh, you know uh, all that so these uh, date, dates uh, are not uh, uh, between this range so that's uh, also you can use not between as well now think about that if uh, the salary uh, let me execute this now what we are seeing here we are getting the data between uh, 1000 and 4000 and if I will uh, say uh, you see right there there is 500 there is 5000 and all that so if I will say not between so what is going to happen is going to return me all the records which does not uh, lie or exist in between these uh, two ranges uh, see right there so we are getting 500 and 5000 uh, so it is ignoring all those records uh, for this range and giving us everything that does not exist in this range so i hope uh, you will be able to use the between operator uh, for your uh, select queries uh, where you will be selecting different data for your reports and uh, using the between and not between will help you to extract that data from your table. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.